Bring it back now. Uh. How to build a fitness business. Hey, Bedros Kulian here. I want to talk to you about something really important, and it has to do about growing your fitness business. Now, it doesn't matter if you own a CrossFit gym, if you own a personal training studio, if you own a fitness boot camp, if you do one on one training at people's homes. The number one thing for success, believe it or not, is not more marketing. Shocking, I know, because I'm a fitness marketing expert, right? It's not more sales. It's not about building your email list. It's not about any of that. You know what the number one thing is? It's about you. It's about you creating a category of one. It's about you becoming the best fitness expert that you can be. Now, it's not about getting more certifications, degrees, and credentials under your belt. I know you think it might be that, and it's not. There's another way that you can demonstrate to the community that you serve that you're the number one fitness expert. You know what that number one way is? To actually look the part and to deliver results. So let's break those two things down and we'll start with delivering results. I hate to admit this and I never thought that I'd actually make a video on this topic, but far too many trainers have stopped delivering results. Now you can blame it on the clients that they're not following the nutrition program. You can blame it on the way that the commercials are, are showing fast food and enticing your clients to come on in and eat and, and how are you gonna outmarket those commercials? But at the end of the day, if you're not showing them results and you're not delivering the results that you promised when they signed up, they're not gonna tell their friends about you. They're not gonna Facebook about you. They're not gonna spread the word. And the fact of the matter is the number one way that you're gonna grow your business is through word of mouth. See, I can show you every lead generation tactic and strategy under the sun to get leads into your business. And we can convert those leads into prospects. In other words, people who are now curious about what you offer. But they're never gonna convert into a client if society, the society that you serve, isn't beating the drums about you and saying how awesome and amazing you are. If you're not delivering results like 20 pounds, 30 pounds, 50 pounds, 100 pounds lost on a consistent basis, then I say that you're not an awesome trainer. You may have the skills and you may have the desire to be an awesome trainer, but an awesome trainer encompasses a lot of things. Is a good coach, is a good motivator, is someone who can hold their clients accountable, right? who can teach them how to eat and encourage them to eat right. And if you're only good at one specific skill, which is teaching them to work out and sweat up a storm for that 30 or 60 minute sessions and they're, they're in your gym, you're not an awesome trainer. So I'm putting that challenge out there to you. Now with a lot of my coaching clients, we have something we call the man up challenge. And the man up challenge usually means take the next 60 or 90 days and challenge yourself to improve in one specific area. So this is one area that you can improve in. I want you to start creating actual human billboards, like walking, talking billboards who have a transformational significance, right? Not who feels stronger, who can run faster, who can lift more, but visually, look, you can look at them and go, holy cow, they put on more muscle and they've lost a significant amount of weight, ideally in the form of fat, right? That's my challenge to you. Now here's part two of this. Part two is, Oh, I never thought I'd be making a video on this. And part two is trainers are over fat. That's right, trainers are out of shape and over fat and I don't understand why because if you're going to be a walking, talking billboard of the service that you offer and the service that you believe in, you should look the part. You are your own walking billboard, right? You would never, ever, ever see a dentist who goes, gee, you know, I got pus coming out of one of my teeth and I got a loose tooth and I need a crown on the other one, you would never see that, right? Yet we see trainers left and right who are out of shape by 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds or more. Now, I don't know what's going on in our industry, but I can tell you that if you look the part, you all of a sudden have more confidence to sell better, to market better, you'll have the confidence to deliver better results. And I'll tell you what, I'll go a whole nother step higher, and I'll say that if you're out of shape, if you're over fat, you're probably doing things in your fitness business to sabotage your growth of your training business. Think about that for a moment, right? The same things you're doing to sabotage your health and your own personal fitness are the same things that are leading you to sabotage your fitness business. 
So whether you reach out to me or someone else and say, how do I get more leads? How do I get more prospects? How do I convert them into clients? How do I grow a bigger email list? How do I do a fan page, a squeeze page, a website, put videos up? None of that matters, man, unless you can get in shape, stay in shape, and be a walking, talking billboard of what you deliver. Doesn't that make sense? So I hope this whole thing makes sense to you here because oftentimes I'm always talking about marketing and sales and time management and productivity, but I realize our industry, at least a certain fraction of our industry, needs help and the help they need is one, to deliver results. You've got clients now, get on their case. Be genuine, come to them, have a sit down and say, what do we need to do to get that 30 pounds of fat off you that we've been trying to get off you for the last year and a half, right? Get them in awesome shape. Take the before and after pictures and take the man up challenge for yourself and get in amazing shape. And you'll see your business turn around with a quickness. This is Bedros Kulian. I'll see you later.